And we are back, founded in the year 2009. Music Brings Life has utilized music and entertainment to inspire potential donors, as well as raise awareness for the need for a diverse blood supply, particularly for those affected by sickle cell disease. Here now to share more, we've got the president and CEO of Music Brings Life, Keenan Special Bristol, joins us. Good to have you, brother. Good to have you, brother. Thank hey, you, man. Thank, thank you for you. sharing with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. So here we are. Here and, we and are. Music brings life. Music brings life. How do you how do you, how do you make the correlation? Uh, so I'm an artist. Yes. Um, and in 2009, my mom had a major surgery, and she was in need of blood. Uh, the hospitals informed us that they didn't have the blood the genetic matching that she needed, right? Uh, and it's because of, it's a lack of blood donation from people of your ethnicities, right. Blacks, Latino, and Caribbean. Um, so this was, uh, this was absolutely new to us. We've never heard anything like this at all. And so what we, what we had to do, we had to go out into the hood and get people to donate blood to save my mom's life. So this experience also brought me to the awareness that how many people have lost their loved one mm -hmm. because of lack of blood donation. So I came up with an idea on how we can increase blood donation. I'm an artist and we can use music and entertainment to cre increase blood donations within these ethnicities and we called it Music Brings Life. And here it is, out of really the pain of your situation and really dealing with your mother, you say, there's a bigger problem here. Some, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you look and you see that bigger problem. As you're sharing with people about this, what's the reaction that people have when they find out about the fact that, hey, you know, blacks, Caribbeans, those, really, we, we need blood? It was a lack of awareness, mm -hmm. uh, fear, lack of trust, and lack of resources being poured in with our communities, right? right? So for me, in, in high school, I, I, didn't, I never had a blood drive. I didn't know that that's actually something that people do, right? And there's so many like that, you know? So we, did, we, needed, we needed the educational resources to be poured in within our communities because it wasn't there, right? And that's what Music Brings Life did, you know? So this, that experience that I had with my mom was, was, was very challenging, but something was born out of it, mm -hmm. right? And it was my call to educate our communities about the importance of donating blood. And when we have, when we do our blood awareness assemblies and people hear the stories about me almost losing my mom, that inspires students to say, hey, you know what? Let me go donate blood for myself and for someone else's mom also. So... You had no experience really in organizing blood drives before. None at all. Now, <laughs> today. None at all. Now today, mm -hmm. talk about where you are. We, we have raised over 5,000 genotypic blood mm. with our Heroes Donate Blood program, where by, why, by us being in blood awareness, doing blood awareness assemblies and blood drives in, in high schools in New York City. So we go to different high schools. I perform. We have other, other performers come on and participate. Um, people that have sickle cell advocates to educate the students about why they should be donating blood. And we've raised over 5,000 pints of blood. Yeah. So now the message continues. Message. You're out there giving, you give, you're giving students awareness and mm -hmm. then also the opportunity to donate blood. Um, breaking down the myths and the barriers and the stereotypes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And how's that been working for you? It's been working great when you have students 16 17 18 age and saying how could how do i how do i be invo involved i want to be involved i want to donate blood let me let me think about someone's special's mom and someone's mom that's impact you know mm -hmm. I, I had a student that was 16 he just lost his mom not too long ago from cancer and when he seen our blood and winners assembly and he heard a story with my mom and I together, he came to me at, at the blood drive and said, special, you know, I, I just lost my mom, but I heard your story and I see that you still have your mom here today and I just want to do something. I want to help, so I want to donate blood. So he heard the story and he got inspired 
And I told him, may your mom be so proud that you're willing to give something sacred like blood of yourself to give another person's life. Yeah. So there's a film, Students of Heroes. Yeah. And I want you to share a little bit more about the film and what made you decide to have this film, Students of Heroes? Here? Students of Heroes, a, a sickle cell warrior story is about Jordana, she have sickle cell disease mm -hmm. and she's having another sickle cell crisis. She has dreams on running in the NYC marathon, but she all, she's, she's been always hearing that she wouldn't be able to do that because of her condition. Mm -hmm. So she had a, she, she's in need of compatible blood, compatible blood to lift because she, she, her body has developed antibodies from, from getting blood transfusions from other ethnicities. So she needs compatible blood, but the hospitals do not have the blood that she needs. So they have to do something unconventional, reach out to students and hope that the students can mobilize and raise the blood that Jordana needs. Mm -hmm. So if people want to get the film, see the film, talk about how to rally around them participate. Yeah, so you can so you can stream the film at musicbringslife.org. You can stream the film there, stream the film there, and you can all the proceeds from the film will be used for our Heroes Donate Blood program, which is operating in different high schools, and we're aiming to raise 10,000 pints of genotypic blood in New York City. Amazing, amazing. And you also celebrate your donor heroes, huh? Yes, indeed. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, we, we're going to have a big blood awareness concert for all our student donors, um, for, for them giving, giving us of themselves, right? the, of them the, self, the blood. Um, so we're going to have a big concert for them and help um, to, to show them we're, thank, we're thankful for what you guys have done for us right. and supporting us. You never saw it going this way, right? I mean, when you first... I did you, not. You know, yeah. I, I did not. Yeah. I did not. Uh, it just... I think, that, I think that, that student, when he came to me at 16, I think he was a messenger. Mm -hmm. Because he told me, but when he, by, by him coming and share with me that he got inspired and I want to donate blood, I think he was a messenger from the universe telling me, telling us to keep going. Because what we're doing is impactful, is inspiring. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. And different things just opened up. You know what? You guys are going to do a film next. And students are going to be involved in that. Mm -hmm. it's, going to lead to, it's going to lead to, and then it's going to lead to a blood awareness concert. And you're going to get more students donating blood. So all of these things, that in the beginning, I didn't see all of these things. Right. So when you talk about incorporating music, right, and you're dealing with students, um, the fact that music is involved, um, your work, who you are, mm -hmm. that's kind of like breaks down, the, the, if you will, the barrier, the stereotypes, to really be able to say, hey, we can do this here. You can do this yeah. here. Um, how do you feel that's going, given the fact that we've got some huge barriers, it's, particularly when you talk about health. There's health disparities, mm -hmm. and there's a whole lot of barriers in access to health and things of that nature. But to be able to get to a place where I'm getting blood donations from a community that sometimes doesn't always know about it, um, has hesitancy, mm -hmm. um, but you're able to still get across the finish line in a unique way, if you had to say, what, what, what do you feel is a secret in, in, in getting these things accomplished? Because it's a hard feat. Uh, the power of storytelling, the power of entertainment. You I feel know, like that's a theme throughout the show today, the power of storytelling. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's absolutely powerful. You know, when, when people hear what Jordana uh, need incompatible blood, wow, what's that? What do you mean she needs, she has sickle cell disease and there are many people that has this condition, needs blood transfusions on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. So when students hear stories like this, well, I, I'm 16 and I can go out and I can just do these regular things, but someone else who has sickle cell and they're 16, 
they have to they have to depend on someone to come to donate blood for them so they can live and that is encouraging that is inspiring and that's making these students that say you know what i gotta participate i want to participate to help this person free, free, free their dreams and live their life so what's coming up around the corner people say listen i might be inspired what, what can they do Man, I, I would say go stream the film. The film is impactful and inspiring, and it's truly moving. Go stream the film at musicbringslife.org. And that is, that is a way how you can support our cause. Yeah, well, it's been a pleasure, it's man. It's been a pleasure, D. Thank you so much, thank man. You, you got to come back, all right? Indeed, brother. Definitely. Indeed. And thank you for the work that you're doing. Indeed. Thank you yes, as well. Yes, sir. Now, listen, if you want more information, visit the website, musicbringslife.org, and then follow them on Facebook, and heroes donate blood. Encourage you don't go anywhere. We got more open coming up right after.